morning class, who wants to lead the prayer? Okay? Okay, let's pray. Amen. Good morning again, class. How are you today? That's good. So, Miss Secretary, is there any absence today? Alright, that's good. So, I want you to bring out your all of your assignments in front of your seats and let the leaders collect it. And leaders, um, collect it and put it on my table. Okay? Okay, class. Who wants to share what we have tackled last meeting? Anyone? Yes. Before we start, uh, I have some jumbled pictures here. And I will give this in each group. And all you need to do is to arrange it correctly and tell me what is in the picture. You only have five minutes to do it. Are you ready, guys? Okay, let's start. I think all of you are done. So, group one, what is in the picture? Okay, how about the group two? Group three? Okay, all of your observations and answers are correct. And this activity is really connected to our topic that we'll be discussing today. And our topic for today is about classifications of drugs. What comes to your mind when you hear the word drugs? Anyone? Yes? That's it. Good point. What else? Very good. So today, we were talking about drugs. Drugs is any substances with an exception of food and water that changes the function of the body both physical or mentally when taken into the body. Drugs may be legal and illegal such as alcohol, caffeine, and tobacco or cannabis, ecstasy, cocaine, and heroin. Drugs are substances which alter the mental or the physical state of an individual. The way your body function, how you feel and how you act. Your understanding and your senses can be influenced by drugs. Psychoactive drugs affect the central nervous system and alter the person's mood, thinking, and behavior. Psychoactive drugs may be divided into four categories. And these are depressants, stimulants, hallucinogens, and narcotics. So, in the following slide, we will tackle about um, these four categories of psychoactive drugs. These are the categories of psychoactive drugs. First is the depressant, stimulant, hallucinogens, and narcotics. Depressant. These are medication often called downers and come in multicolored tablets and capsules or in liquid form. The present substances reduces the arousal and stimulation. And this is um, what the present look, looks like. They affect the central nervous system, slowing down the messages between the brain and the body. They can affect concentration and coordination. And these are also the effects of the present. First is slow brain function, slow pulse and breathing, lowered blood pressure, poor concentration, confusion, fatigue, dizziness, fever, visual disturbances, dilated pupils, disorientation, lack of coordination, depression, difficulty, and inability to to urinate. Nahirapan din umihin. And then, addiction. Kasi nga, medication siya. And then, kapag ka-inabuse mo siya, person may be addicted to this. So, 
Next is the stimulants. Stimulants, sometimes called uppers naman. Kung yung isa tinawag na downers, this is what we call uppers. Temporarily increase alertness and energy. Most commonly used street drugs that fall into this category are cocaine and amphetamines. Cocaine. Ano naman tayo dun, di ba? Um, familiar tayo dun, yung singsingot. Yung kanina sinagot niya sa, sa activity natin. Prescription stimulants comes in tablets. It is also a tablet form or capsules. When abused, they are swallowed, injected in liquid form or crushed and snorted. Ayun. Iniinom siya as yung capsule or tablet or yung iba ini-inject. And then sometimes naman yung sinising hot. Yeah. And this is what stimulants looks like. And may injection, may injection, my powder, and then my tablets. And what are the effects of this? So a human body. Uh, euphoria. Heightened feelings of well-being. Increase heart rate and blood pressure. Kasi diba nga sinabi silang ano, uppers. So, bibilis yung heartbeat mo, yung blood pressure mo tataas, ganyan, increase alertness, talkativeness, reduce appetite, anxiety, tension, increase body temperature, tremor, seizures, coma, at yung pinaka-worst is death. Kapag ka sobra tayong, ay, kapag ka ang person is na sobrahan, it will lead not just to addiction but also to death. Grabe yung effect niya, di ba? So, for the next category naman, um, hallucinogens, also known as psychedelics, are drugs that change the way a person perceives the world. Kakaiba, di ba? Um, sinasabi dito is parang... Iba nagiging tingin niya sa mundo kumpara sa mga normal na tao. Na I mean, sa mga hindi gumagamit na itong drug na to. Hallucinogens affect all senses, altering a person's thinking, sense of time, and emotions. They can use, a, they can cause a person to hallucinate. Ayun nga, sinabi ko kanina, seeing, seeing or hearing things that do not exist or are distorted. So, Kung ikaw na ikita mo lang yung sabihin natin yung upuan, sila, maybe nakikita nila gumagalaw yung upuan, wawala yung upuan. So, ganun yung sa kanila. Um, some occur naturally in trees, vines, seeds, fungi, leaves. Others are made in laboratory. Ibig sabihin daw yung hallucinogens is nakukuha uh, siya sa mga, ayun nga, trees, vines, seeds, pwede siyang ganun. Then, yung iba naman, sinasadya na ginagawa sa, sa laboratory. Ayan yung, ayan naman yung itsura ng, ano, ng hallucinogens. Ayan, no, may mga tablet forms. And then yung, ayan na yung tinatawag nilang parang magic mushroom. Nakaka-addictive. May effects to, syempre. Uh, una dyan, yung increased heart rate. No siya. Intensified feelings and sensory experiences such as brighter colors. So, kung yung itong uniform teacher is medyo dalang kulay para sa atin na hindi nagtitake, sa kanila ba, baka sobrang tingkad na ito, baka nagliliwanag ako sa kanila, di ba? And then, um, changes in sense of time. For example, the feeling that time is passing by slowly. Mm. Yung slow mo, yung mga ginagawa sa TikTok, yung mga slow walk. Baka kahit hindi na hindi ginagawa ng tao yun sa kanila, yun yung nakikita nila. Ano? Increase blood pressure, breathing rate, or body temperature. Loss of appetite. Mawalan din sila ng gana kumain. Parang hirap na, no? Pero wala eh. Yung, yung ano nila, yung yung utak nila is hindi nararamdaman. Dry mouth. Sleep problems. Maybe di sila makatulog like that. Spiritual experiences, feelings of relaxation, uncoordinated movements, excessive sweating, panic, paranoia, 
psychosis, and bizarre behaviors. So, yun. Lahat ng to, um, hindi nararanasan ng normal na tao na hindi nag-imitate ng hallucinogens. Yun. Uh, magiging weird talaga pag nakakita tayo ng mga taong nag-take ng ganitong drugs. So, yung last naman sa ating category is the narcotics. Any of class substances that blunt the senses of opium, morphine, peladona, marijuana, and alcohol. So, familiar tayo sa marijuana and alcohol, right? That are large quantity produced euphoria, stopper, or coma that when used constantly can be caused habituation or addiction and that are used in medicine to relieve pain, cause sedation, and induce sleep. So, yung narcotics na yun, lalo na yung marijuana, di ba? Unlike in other countries, we know that marijuana is a medication for for some illnesses, right? But, here in the Philippines, hindi pa siya ma... Para sa mga epileptic ata, di ba? Um, di pa rin siya ina-approve dito. Kasi, syempre, uh, yung mga tao kasi, ina-abuse yung marijuana. And, matindi ang effect ng marijuana. Right? And alcohol. Kapag ka sinobrahan daw, kasi pwede siya pang medication din. Pero pag sinobrahan mo, it can be addictive and magkakaroon ka ng mga ng mga weird weird feelings. Yan nga. Mga katulad ng mga effects na sinabi ko sa mga iba. And yung magiging habitual na and then it will lead to addiction. Yeah. And what are the um these are what a narcotics looks like. And may mga dry leaves, tablets, Um, stones, parang mga bato, right? Pow powder, and yeah. So, what are the, eff the effects of narcotics? Decreased sense of pain. Wow. Dizziness, euphoria, physical dependence, decreased respiration, sedation, stomach upset, including nausea, vomiting, and constipation. And then lastly is tolerance. So ibig sabihin, kada mag-take ka, susunod-sunodin mo, pwedeng maging addictive na. Right? Pero nakakaano dito yung decreased sense of pain. Pero still, that's bad. So next, 